It is meaty. It is flavorful. It is cheesy. It is packed with flavor. It's a steak burrito, y'all. Let me show you how easy it is to make a nice steak burrito. Let's go. What is poppin' my beautiful YouTube family? As you can see right here, we have some beautiful New York strip steak because today we are making steak burritos. And here is all of the ingredients that I will be using. I got some sour cream, some white cheese, I got a white onion, I got some guacamole here, some minced garlic, banana peppers, super big tortillas, and we have our beautiful steak that I already went ahead and seasoned. I seasoned the steak with some steak seasoning. I usually just use steak seasoning and that's it. But I wanted these tacos to be super flavorful tonight. So I use steak seasoning, slap your mama, garlic powder. I think I use some um, black pepper and some adobo. So I have my steak nice and seasoned, and they are room temp. And now what I'm about to do is go and take these bad boys over to my grill, or my griddle, and we are gonna get these seared up. Let's go, y'all. Okay, y'all, here's our beautiful New York strips. Getting nice and grilled up. I'm probably gonna cook these Oh, they're not too thick, so I'm probably going to cook these like about seven minutes on each side. There they go. Okay, my YouTube fam, it is time to flip these steaks. So let's see what they're looking like. I hope it has a nice char on it. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's flip our other. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to let these cook on the other side, and I'll be back. Okay, my YouTube fam, it is time to wrap this little quick delicious recipe up. It is going to be bombdiggity.com. It is so simple, so easy. So now what we are about to do is saute our onions and our hot banana peppers. So right here, as you can see, I have um, <clears throat> excuse me, some uh, salted butter in my uh, pan. And I have my, I'm going to put my fire on uh, like a medium high a medium high so we can saute these so here's my butter nice and getting melty as you can see my beautiful New York strip I don't know if you guys can see them yep you can see them so I have my beautiful New York strip they're done I'm letting those rest because after I saute my veggies I'm going to um, slice these up in um, semi thin slices and we just go like throw it in a burrito shell we go throw some cheese on that bad boy we gonna throw some guacamole, some sour cream. Oh my, it's about to be crazy. So my butter is nice and melted. So let me hop over here. And I already went ahead, y'all, and sliced up uh, my onion. This is just regular white onion, uh, just sliced up. I left them kind of thick, because I like the crunch on the onion with the burrito. So I'm gonna let these I'm gonna let them get nice and al dente, nice and tender. So what I'm doing now, I'm looking for, I think I'm gonna season these with some, uh, I think we're gonna go with some lemon pepper. Cause don't forget, we seasoned up those steaks. It's so flavorful, so flavorful. So the steak is already packed with flavor. So kind of take it easy on your veggies or do you, you know, go in. So I'm going to use some lemon pepper, just a little bit to get it going. And we are going to get these nice and soft 
and get a little um, caramelization on it. So I'm going to let these get um, a little soft before I throw in my um, hot banana peppers. And here is my, the banana peppers that I'm going to use. Just simple, right out of the jar, hot banana peppers. That's going to make it pop. It's about to be, it's about to be out of control, y'all. It's about to be out of control. I'm so in love with steak tacos and my favorite place to get steak tacos from. I haven't had one though in a minute. It's from this um, pizza shop that we have called Lenova's. Lenova Steak Tacos. It's like so bomb. I don't know if they still are because like I said, I haven't been in a while, but some things you just don't forget. Oh, I used to crush them bad boys. So, I am going to continue to saute my veggies, y'all, and I'm not going to bore you with this. It's just me stirring up some onion. I know y'all don't want to see me stirring up some onion. So, I'm going to cut the camera, and I'm going to be back when it's time to add in those banana peppers. Be back, y'all. Okay, my YouTube fam, welcome back, and now we are about to... Um, slice up our steak here. This is our beautiful strips that we seared off first. And I am about to just cut these up. Just like this. And I didn't want to cook them too, too well done. Um, because I need to throw them back in the pot with the um, onions and peppers. And then we're gonna toss it on our uh, shell. So this is like perfect. Perfect. Still juicy. Still juicy. And you know, cook your steak um, the way you like it. You know, I love steak. So I can eat steak anywhere from medium well to well done. So, but um, you kind of probably wanna go easy. Um, and not make it too, too well done when you are um, making these burritos. Because you want to bite into a nice, soft, tender bite. So this is actually perfect. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Love. Who else love the crispy, that crispy, like, burnt in on a steak? Bruh. To die for. So, those uh, two steaks actually made a lot of meat. So, these are going to be some beefy burritos. So, here's our beautiful meat, y'all. So now what I'm about to do is take you guys back over to the stove so we can make our sauteed onion. We just basically, we're about to combine everything together before we stuff them up in the burrito, y'all. So I'll be back at the stove. All right, y'all, I'm back at the stove. So, see my veggies? They are perfect, just the way I want them. They have a nice uh, char on them. They're not too soft, but they're not hard still. So now what I'm going to do, ew, 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 is add just a dash of minced garlic. I'm gonna use this. I just want a splash of minced garlic and some of this juices, just like that. <clears throat> that garlic toast up a little bit with those vegetables. Now what we're going to do is go in with our beautiful steak. Like that. Put this in the sink. Oh yeah. We rocking and rolling now, y'all. Take all a piece, then I'm up to eat. Mmm. Get that incorporated. Mm-hmm. 
real quick, I'm just combining these ingredients, y'all. Nothing fancy, nothing too special. <clears throat> okay, now off camera, I went ahead and made my steak hoagie. Um, it's like a little hoagie sauce that I have that I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm just gonna add a splash, so it could be a little, a couple of splashes. So it has to be a little wet. Give that a nice stir. Make sure that's enough. And um, during this part, you guys, you can um, add your cheese in, like right now, and just incorporate your cheese in this steak mixture. But the way that I wanna do it, <clears throat> and I find it better, that way for me, I like to um, just layer that burrito with cheese, top and bottom. So then after it comes out the oven, like you bite into it and it's just cheese, it's just, it's just better that way for me. Okay. So this is looking good, because remember, you don't want no tough steak. And I mean, you can feel free, you can add mushrooms in here, you could do, um, Green bell pepper would be good. Do it however you feel. Okay, so this is looking good. So I'm going to turn off my fire. And now it's time to take you guys over so we can build this bad boy. Let's go. Okay, guys. Now it is time for the fun part. And it is time to build. So the first layer that I'm going to start with is... Some sour cream. I got some, um, see if you guys can see it, just regular light sour cream. So I like a lot of sour cream, so I was just like, even though light is probably still not the healthiest version, but I like like a lot of sour cream. So I was like, let me at least get the light. Okay, so sour cream. Then we are going to go in with some guacamole. I love this already made guacamole. And um, you don't have to put guacamole on yours. Um, you can make, if you do want guacamole on yours, feel free to chop up your avocados. I do have fresh avocados, but guess what? Sis wasn't making homemade guac tonight. No, it wasn't going to happen. So, spread it like that. So you got your guac. Let's lay here on some cheese, please. And I'm using regular white American sliced cheese. And it's gonna be the best for this burrito. Regular white cheese. I'm just gonna put that on there just like that. Oh, we are gonna take our beautiful steak and peppers. And we are going to whoo, flop that right down on that bad boy, just like that. Okay. And we are going to take some fresh, freshly diced tomato. Just like that. And we are going to add more cheese. I'm going to add like three, yeah, three more slices. So, now it's time to fold. So usually the way I fold mine, and hopefully I didn't overstuff it, I fold mine like this. I take these two corners here, then I take this corner here, so I bring them both over, then it has a fold here, and I take this here, fold that over like that, and then I'm just gonna take it, and I'm going to scoop it, and tuck that and roll it and smack it, flip it and rub it down. No, I'm <laughs> so I'm gonna tuck it. That probably was so confusing, y'all. I'm sorry. But hopefully you guys seen that. And it's a little bit of guac and sour cream on the side. That's all right. We gonna put this in the oven. Let that marinate all up on there. Make sure it's tucked in nice and tight. And this is, oh man, wait till y'all see the finished product. So right now, you could like get you um, a pan with some butter 
and um, you can just throw your burrito like right on, you know, in that uh, buttery pan. But I kind of want this to like cook real, not even cook, but just I want to put this in the oven on low and slow and just let that cheese just and all those flavors just marry up in the oven. So that's the route I'm going to do it tonight. So I'm just going to wrap this up like this. And some nice heavy duty foil. And there you go. You have a nice big old fat steak burrito. And what I'm going to do guys is roll. Um, I think I can actually roll two more. So I'm going to roll a few more. I'm going to pop these in the oven. And then I'm going to be back to show you guys the finished product. We are going to cut into these bad boys. Be back y'all. Okay, my YouTube fam, it is time to cut into this bad boy. So I kept these in the oven for about 10 minutes or so, just to assure that the cheese is nice and melty and ooey gooey to the woo wee. So, it's still kinda hot y'all, so bear with me. So I'm just gonna cut right through, yep, I'm gonna cut right through the foil. I'm gonna do it this way. And we gonna see y'all, I'm cutting into it with y'all. We cutting into it together. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, make sure y'all can see it. Okay, y'all, let's see what we got. Oh, let me bring that up close. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look, y'all, look, y'all. Look it! Oh my god! This is about to be so... Look. When I tell y'all I'm about to smash... Listen, I'm about to dog this out. And then the shell got nice and like um, a little crispy from the oven. Like the outer shell. This is about to be bomb, y'all. This is about to be bomb. I'm about to plate it up, y'all, and I'm about to pig out. As always, I appreciate you guys so much more than you'll ever know. If you are not subscribed, please, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe to your girl channel. Come on, look at this. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed evening. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.